never get tired of this view. Yeah, it's a great place to live. And I'm grateful for the visit, Hermes. Thank you for this gift. Though, if I'm being honest, I am a bit nervous and excited. I just don't know what to expect. Don't mention it. As I said, the mescaline will take effect in 40 minutes after eating the cactus. Whatever you do, don't try to fight the experience. Go with it. It will lead you right to your true self. And whatever shadows you meet, don't run from them. Embrace them. Okay, I hope this works. Don't worry, it will. Thanks, Hermes. It's only a psychedelic trip, right? What could go wrong? Remember what I said and you'll do just fine. Thanks. See ya. Embrace the shadows. Got it. Yes, indeed. The shadow resides within you, brave traveller. Seek your inner archetypes. You must make peace with them. Seek the three behelet stones, one black, one silver, and the last, crimson. Let them guide you to the arch tree of life. You will find yourself there. Enter the labyrinth. The rest is up to you.
stone speaks, now being personified of himself, and says this, I am an orphan, alone, yet I am found everywhere. I am one, but I am contrary to myself, a youth and an old man at the same time. I have known neither mother nor father, because I must be lifted up from the depths like a fish, or else I fall down the sky like the white stone. In woods and on mountains I am walking about, yet I lie hidden in the innermost of man. I am mortal for everyone, and yet I am not touched by the mutation of time. Hello there. Who are you? I am the orphan, alone in the world. And what do you want most out of life? To belong. To fit in. Why is that important to you? Isn't that obvious? I don't want to be left out. I wouldn't know what to do. I need other people. I am alone in the world. But you're not alone. There are people that care about you. Do I? Yeah, sure. Who would want to be friends with me? I don't know anything. People forgot about me. They use me and throw me away. I am nothing. No, you aren't. Look, you are inside the labyrinth. That means you're on the hero's journey. That's important. Focus on that. Stop! You don't know anything about me! Of course I do. You're part of me, after all. And if we want to get through this thing together, we're going to have to work together. But I don't know if I can do it. Look how deep the labyrinth is. Wouldn't it be better if we just didn't try this? I would rather stay where I am. We can't be afraid to take a step towards that that makes us uncomfortable. Come on, I'll show you how to do it. All right then, I will try. No one ever supports me like this, so... This is quite a surprise. Thank you.
Hello there. And who are you supposed to be? I'm your inner child. I see. And what is it that you're looking for? Nothing. I just want to play. You just want to play? Why? It's fun. I could do it all day. Don't get me wrong. Playing is fun. But don't you feel a little bad when you haven't been productive all day? No. Quite the opposite. I just love running around and playing. What do you mean, running around? You mean, inside the labyrinth? Yes. Sometimes I get lost, and that's no fun. I get scared, so I often stay in the garden. It sounds scary to get lost. What do you do when that happens? I call out, and the caregiver comes to rescue me. I don't know what I would do if she abandoned me. Just thinking about that makes me want to cry. Well, don't cry. Is there something I can do to make you happier? Sure. Don't ever grow up. When you grow up, your heart dies, and you won't be fun to play with anymore. Hello there. Who are you? I am the caregiver. What is it that you desire? To take care of others. It fulfills me. Why? I don't want to be selfish, and I enjoy helping others. Even though they may not want it. All the better. I can guilt trip them and control them that way. Why would you want to do that? So they can never leave me. What do you mean? If I do everything for them, then they will be forever dependent on me. Like the child over there. It will never grow up and will have to stay here with me. I thought that you were compassionate because you were helping others, but this just sounds very selfish and evil. What are you talking about? I am as compassionate as I can be. I give him nothing but love. Everything he needs, I provide. But he'll never be able to grow up or become independent because he'll always be dependent on you. I know, I know. But I just love him so much. I can't let him ever leave me. But you must, otherwise his anima will stay locked in here with you and he will never find a proper woman for himself. I didn't realize that I was slowing his growth that much. I... I thought if I took care of him all the time, he'd never leave. But I guess it's exactly what will make him hate me if I'll keep overdoing it. I see your point, brave traveler. Who are you? I am the warrior. The warrior, huh? Oh, well, what do you want? To win. Why is it so important to win? All I want is simple. 
to have my own way. And why is having your own way so important to you? Because my way is the best, and others are weak. Why do you assume that everyone is weaker than you? Look at them. That's all you need to do. But I don't think that everyone is weak. Oh, they are. They have no discipline, no willpower. They listen to their every impulse, these weaklings. Why is it bad to listen to my impulses? Because it gets you nowhere. You will stay a nobody for the rest of your pathetic life. No status, no power. No threat to anybody, just a weak coward. Wait, do you think that I'm a coward? Yes. Okay, that's a bit harsh, but tell me what I can do to bring more of your energy into my life. Stop being pathetic. You have to figure that out for yourself. But I really don't know, and I do want to change. So what should I do? That. Do. Just start doing instead of your pathetic thinking. Now leave me be, I have more important things to do. Part of spiritual development is to recognize the satanic tendencies that characterize you and to fully wrestle with them and to integrate them. This is the thing. It's not so much to cast them away, it's to transmute them. And you can see the difference between people who have done that and people who haven't, at least to some degree. Because people who haven't integrated their shadow are naive. Someone who has integrated the shadow, they're they're dangerous in the martial arts sort of way. They are dangerous, but they don't have to be. Their presence radiates the potential for habit. Projection 
of the active imagination onto processes and objects in the exterior world. In the case of the alchemist, it was the swirling chemical processes in their Olympics, in their alchemical vessels, that they projected the great round of the archetypes onto these chemical processes. They saw crystallization, sublimation, separation, as statements about the contents of the psyche, as much statements about the exterior world. Because for them, the firm division between mind and matter that is built into Western thinking now did not exist then. Some call me Seeker. You're a Seeker? What are you seeking? I'm seeking a better future for myself. I can't stand a life where I would have to work in a meaningless job. I'm looking for my true self, really. But your job is not meaningless, is it? Of course it is. Or should I say was? I made us quit the horrible job. We'll find a better one anyway. Our inner creator is thanking me. Wait until you meet him. He's quite a guy. He was dying every day in the job. Our soul was dying. I saved us. You may be right about that. But what are we going to do now? That's easy. Work on our independence. We don't need people in our lives. 
only a few close ones that are important. We are content with being alone, remember? That may be true, but we can't stay alone our whole life. Never settling down, never committing to anything fully. I mean, we could find a girl. Another girl? How am I supposed to lead us to own us if there's gonna be a beautiful girl around? We wouldn't be able to get out of the bed. Anima would possess us immediately, like she always does. No, thanks. I will rather travel alone. That's a fair point, Seeker. I'll leave you to it then. Come to think of it, I don't want to settle down either. spun off into the New Age, and the New Age is a very optimistic and naive movement. The New Age is predicated on the idea that you can do nothing but follow your bliss, and that will take you ever higher to the Enlightenment. This is not the Jungian idea at all. On the contrary, the Jungian idea is that what you most need 
to be found where you least want to look.
this is the most important thing in the world. He wanted to point out that to the degree that you condemn others and find evil in others, you are to that degree unconscious of the same thing in yourself. There can be Eichmanns, Hitlers, and Himmlers just because there are people who are unconscious of their own dark sides and they project that darkness outward into Jews or communists or whoever the enemy may be and say that there is the darkness, it is not in me and because it is not in me, I am justified in annihilating this enemy whether it be with atom bombs or gas chambers Who are you? I am the lover. Who else? All right, lover. What do you want from life? <laughs> I want nothing but to follow my bliss. What are you searching for right now? What I am looking for is the one and only true love. I have tried so many partners so far, but it never led anywhere. It never felt real and genuinely fulfilling. And I sense that, you know. And what do you fear? Well, the most I fear, I guess, is being alone. Never finding love is my biggest nightmare. Really? Would it be that bad, being alone? Yes. I would feel like dying. There is no use for a life like death. Life without love is no better than being dead. I see. Well, tell me what I can do to have you more in my life. Just notice the bliss around you. Go watch a sunset and feel the colors. Sometimes it's just too much for me and I can't handle it all by myself. In times like this I have to tell the creator to draw it for me. Otherwise my heart would explode. So, feel the atmosphere around you, brave traveler. Whenever you feel like dancing, dance. Dance like no one is watching, really. Don't hold yourself back when you feel like expressing yourself. And don't be afraid to let yourself devour in a moment. Because sometimes, it's all you need. That's not always easy for me. Sometimes I'm just in my head too much. You better watch out then. Notice your feelings more and learn to control them. Otherwise, Anima will possess you. What do you mean by Anima? She is waiting for you. You can't reach your true self without going through her. So, be aware. I mean very aware, brave traveler. She wants you all for herself. You say I can't reach my true self without going through this anima. What will she do to me when I meet her? She'll grip you and never let go. And it will happen in a blink of an eye. You won't even notice and you're there. Unable to control yourself. Exhausting yourself just for her and her needs. You will make anything for her. And she will convince you that you're doing the right thing. Which is absolutely the worst part, because you, you will be getting nothing from it. Nothing. So how do I make peace with Anima then? As I said, control your feelings and learn to understand them. It happens to me many times that I just surrender to them and lose myself in a whirl of impulsive pleasure. And there is no love there traveler. There is just filling your inner void with something that will be gone before you even enjoy it. Trust me. I would exchange a hundred of my one-night stands for just one that would stay forever. 
but you will not find that easily. And you cannot force anyone to love you. Anyway, be prepared for any more. Just don't fall for tricks. You will need your shadow for that, but first you must tame it. They call the rebel. The rebel. 
<laughs> what a name. And what are you after? And why, oh why, should I tell you? Because I cannot continue without knowing you. <laughs> you were imperfect. Most of you is completely useless. And I want to get rid of that. Well, you haven't been doing a very good job then. I want to change, but not by destroying myself with drugs. But alcohol, drugs, and saying fuck you to your boss are pretty life-changing. You may be right, but that's not going to do us any good if we can't make money and live the way we want. <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I give a shit? You ignore me most of the time, so why should I help you? You deserve what you got. It's true. I have been ignoring you, and for a long time. So just tell me what to do to fix it. What would you like me to do? Oh, I don't know. Something simple. You know, real easy like. Like, I don't know. Quit your job? I can't do that. I'm not quitting my job. Ooh, well, unfortunately, there's nothing to talk about then. Please, close the door on your way out. Please, I will do anything except quitting the job. All right, all right. I want a vacation. At least two weeks. Somewhere nice. And also, I want a new girl. This one is becoming boring, if you know what I mean. All right, you've got yourself a deal. But if I do this, you have got to stop making me come to work drunk. Whoa, 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 hold on there, buddy. No one said anything about that. <sighs> all right.
some of Yoon's work was spun off 